Editing a page in Google Sites is very similar to editing many other Google types of tools. So let's say for instance I wanted to edit my home page. All I need to do is look for the pencil in the upper right hand corner, click on it, and this particular page will automatically be taken into editing mode. When this is, opens up, you'll notice I have um, a toolbar across the top here. It looks very similar to something you might have seen in Google Docs or Microsoft Word uh, that allows you to change your font size, do some bold italics, put in a web link, um, add bullet points, etc. You also have some tools up here at the top for instance, insert that allow you to insert a number of objects into the page. Um, so you can insert an image, but you can also insert um, a Picasso web slideshow or a presentation, um, or you might want to actually insert a Google Doc. So there's a variety of different things that you can insert. Looking across the top here, you also have some formatting you can do in the sense of um, putting in headings, um, whether they be subheadings or major headings. You also can add a table to your page, and you can adjust the overall layout of your page from one column to maybe two column, etc. When you have objects in your page that you've um, inserted through the insert menu, they actually appear like these gray little boxes. And anytime you click on an object, um, you can do some editing of the object in the sense of you can align it left or right or center it. You can choose whether you want text to wrap around, wrap around it or not. You can actually delete the object altogether by clicking on the X or go into the properties of the object by clicking on the gear, which get, brings you another window where you can make some adjustments as well. Once you're done editing your page, however you want to edit it, you just need to make sure that you press save and your page, any changes that you made will have been done. So that's it. That's editing a website. It's pretty easy. Once again, you just want to make sure you click on the pencil and then use the toolbars across the top of the page.